is it normal for for uh, women or people who menstruate that spend time with one another for their cycles to sync up? No, it's a myth. Everybody gets really upset about it. <laughs> Seriously, I'm like, who do you think sponsoring me? Like big non period syncing? <laughs> um, yeah, it's a myth. So I, how, where does that come from? And if someone's like, well, hang on, actually, you know. My girlfriends and I, we, we all have our period at the same time. Like, what's happening? Yes. There? So, there's great explanations for it. It's just a really fascinating social or cultural phenomenon. So, I don't actually know the history, meaning did people believe it in the 1600s or did people believe it in the 1800s? I, I don't really know. But you have to also know that they didn't know about hormones and they didn't know about things. So they, they were just very concerned about making sure people menstruated because they thought it was a built up of toxins. So I don't think they were like really specifically thinking about that. Maybe they weren't, I don't know. But in the early eighties, there was a study that suggested that menstrual sinking or menstrual synchronicity, that sounds like a, like a album, doesn't it? Like that's my new album. It's menstrual synchronicity. It's dropping <laughs> soon. Call me Taylor. Um, so, so, this there was a study that suggested it. Now, if you go back and look at the study that has some flaws with it and isn't, you know, it probably wouldn't have been accepted today the way it was in the early '80s. That's also pretty common from a lot of studies, right? You know, we learn more, we you know have different methods. We couldn't do hormone tests and things in the early '80s the way we could do them today. So there's a lot of things that change. It's been looked at by several different researchers since in larger studies with you know better design and it hasn't shown. And there's no biological reason it could happen. So the people who propose it never propose a biologically plausible hypothesis. So people who, what about pheromones? Well, so no one has actually ever proven the existence of human pheromones yet. I know the perfume industry would like everybody to think otherwise, but it's never been proven. And Jen Gunter busting I myths know. left, right, and center. I'm so mean. This is what makes people think I'm mean. How dare you? I know. How dare I? <laughs> I, and it's because we don't have a functioning vomero nasal organ. So, and that's what dogs and cats and animals that can detect pheromones have. And so ours doesn't work. So, so what's traveling through the ether from me to somebody else? And if you think about it on, um, on a different level, I find it really distasteful because it kind of makes women sound like they're seasonal breeders, right? That there's this alpha female that can drag all these other like lesser females into her menstrual orbit. I don't know. I just, it, whenever any, so when you hear these myths, very few people kind of follow them through to their logical conclusion. So what does that really, like if we keep going on that line of thinking, what's that telling me? And almost always when you go along that line of thinking, it starts to sound like worse and worse and worse for how you're talking about women. Sometimes it can sound like a nice story. For example, like in this example, I've heard people say, well, the, the ancestral or evolutionary explanation is that you know, perhaps there was survival benefit if women were going through their pregnancy at the same time and giving birth to babies at the same time. Well, so we would know it though, because that wouldn't have been a trait that we would have lost. So we would be seeing people coming in, all the pregnancies happening at the same time, and then for two or three weeks in labor and delay. Like we would see that. So, so that's not something that happens. And um, there's no biological basis for it. I mean, your own body controls your cycle. You have agency. I don't mean that you think it to happen, but your body is your own agency. It's not somebody else isn't controlling you. We don't ever say that about men. We don't ever say that like, wow, testosterone is such a powerful hormone. It can drag all men into having erections, right? S slightly related, yet un unrelated. <laughs> uh, it gets me thinking about, is it is it accurate or is there any truth to the idea that when a woman is on oral contraception on the pill, her taste in men is different than if she was not taking the pill? No. Have you heard that? Yeah, I've heard it. The research is not very solid. There are other people who have disproven it. And you know, none of these studies control for reasons that people get divorced, right? So people might stop the pill because they're not planning on having sex with the guy that they dislike and are wanting to get divorced from, right? So stopping the pill had nothing to do with, oh, wow, I'm with the wrong man. It was a planned decision because why would I take contraception for someone I'm not having sex with? So there isn't any good data to support that. And I think that people need to be very, very careful making grand proclamations based on 
not solid data at all. There's no evidence to support it. And of course, all my friends, I have a couple of friends who've never taken any hormonal contraception. And they're like, well, how do I explain my three divorces? <laughs> you know, like, you know, and, and, and so also that kind of positions men as not having responsibility in a relationship falling apart, right? It's all about you and your hormones. Really? 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 So yeah, um, like the grander the claim, the more extravagant the claim, the grander the evidence needs to be, and it doesn't exist. It seems to serve a very specific narrative um, of, uh, of you know, keeping people away from using medication that can be very useful for them. So there's one other thing I'd like people to think about when they think about they believe that they've had menstrual sinking, uh, is that think about a time when you've been driving and your windshield wipers are going and it's raining and the car in front of you windshield wipers are going. And there's times where your wipers are matching up exactly with them. And then there's times where they don't and then they match up again and then they don't. And that's what's happening when you notice somebody's cycle being the same as yours. You're only remembering the time where they are matching up because of random things. This is a random change. So if you have two events that are occurring randomly, they will match up at times and then they won't and then they will and then they won't. But because of recall bias, you just remember the times that they were. But Jen, I want to believe that when I look at my phone magically, it's always 11-11. <laughs> <laughs> I know humans, you know, we're, we are weird creatures and, and we ha like to hold on to little beliefs. And, and again, I just think that, um, it's, I just believe it's important to have the facts because while we can say, well, what's the problem with having a menstrual sinking myth? Okay. Well, you know, there isn't really a problem except, well, what if it makes one person feel like they're always submissive to the group. What if one person's made to feel like they're always like following? Like, do you think that might like maybe affect them a little bit? Well, that's a possibility. And these myths, and this is also an issue, are weaponized by, you know, the wellness movement, by people trying to tell you that, oh, well, you, you shouldn't be on hormonal contraception because you're going to miss all these important rhythms that we learn because of cycle syncing. You know, so it becomes part of this narrative that's very easily warped or used in another way. So I just think it's, that's why it's important to know. So if you want to believe something that's not true about your body, okay, that's totally fine. But just remember that these things are often misused by people who have ill intentions. Mm -hmm.